while electric motorcycles are still nowhere to be found electric scooters on the other hand they are the real talk of the town and they're riding the bigger waves in the indian two-wheeler ev industry TBS IQ was introduced some time back and it is one of the most notable offerings in this segment and in the show today we are going to put it as to find out if this scooter is worthy enough to replace the traditional two wheeler in your garage So before proceeding further, what's worth mentioning here is that the iCube is not just another electric scooter in the market. It marks beginning of an era for TVS, which has set its sights straight on the battery technology with a number of products to follow. Now first things first. Ever since the IQ was introduced, it has been subjected to polarizing comments. While some find it futuristic, others simply do not. For me, it's right in the middle. The use of horizontal LED headlamp and tail lamp give it the modern look and the front LED DRL placed over the head along with black panels across the front apron also make it likeable to look at. Now come to the side and you'll see a kind of small net pattern and then there is iCube logo sitting over the side body panels. Come to the back and there are horizontal lights and a big grab rail for the rear pillion. Overall, the design of iCube has been kept rather simple and that's to attract a wider set of audience. Now one of the key highlights of the TBS iCube is its large size LCD display that appears to be premium especially when you compare it with its direct rivals. Now it does take time to load up when you put the scooter on charge but other than that all the display as you see here all the information is presented in a very clear and readable format and it also manages to remain bright even under the direct sunlight. It gets Bluetooth connectivity which allows it to be paired with a dedicated iCube app. Along with the Bluetooth function, it shows incoming call alerts, SMS function and turn button navigation on the screen. The app also features geofencing, trip data recording, battery charge status, range and a lot more. The seat needs to be unlocked with a dedicated key space given on the left side of the scooter but for that you'll have to get up from the seat and unlock it. Pull it open and you'll see a decent space for all the regular paraphernalia. While this space is decent for a medium sized helmet, I doubt a full size helmet will fit this space along with a charger. Moreover, you can find a USB charging slot over here and also a small light. So the TVS iCube gets a non-swappable 2.25 kilowatt hour battery which is split into three portions with one of them placed under the footboard. This means that this battery pack cannot be switched or replaced with another fully charged battery whenever you require it, unlike some other options present in the market today. What's worth adding here is that it comes with a standard home charger which takes a minimum of 6 to 7 hours to attain full charge. But sadly, there is no quick charging on offer, which can be a concern if you're in a hurry sometime. So the TVS iCube comes with Bosch made uh, hub mounted electric motor with a peak power output of 4.4 kW. We'll tap on the electric start button and you won't hear or feel anything until you twist the wrist. It gets two modes economy and power which can be selected on tap of a button that too even while driving. The difference is that in economy you can go up to 49 km per hour in terms of top speed with a full charge range of 75 while in power mode you can do a top speed of 80 km but the range is set to go down to 55 km here. Overall the performance in power is set to be more but if you're riding with a pillion then I doubt you'll feel the difference. It also gets a park assist function that restricts the speed while parking in tight spots. Moreover, there is also a reverse assist function which is basically a reverse gear. With a little over rupees 1 lakh on road daily, the TVS iCube comes out as one of the most affordable and promising EVs on offer today where it does have its share of niggles including the unavailability of fast charging and limited range it offers. But uh, look at it from perspective of TVS's first full-fledged electric product and it does make sense with a mix of everything. But the question remains, can it replace the traditional two-wheeler in your garage? I think there's still time in that. That's all in the show today. It's goodbye for now and as always, ride safe.